The identimap thing was that uh, someone you know, earlier this year had discovered that it actually appears in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the film, which was released in uh, 1977. And there's a very clear shot of it where the guy comes up to it and he puts his hand on it and it scans it and he takes his card out of it, uh, which sounds very much like uh, Lazar's explanation. And it's the same machine, there's only this one. Well, there's, there's two versions of it, but it's the, the IdentiMap 2000. Uh, it was in in this uh, this this video from well this actual film, and I I just I retweeted it well I tweeted it out because it didn't seem to be getting very much traction. I think the the video only had like 600 views or something at the time, so I thought that more people should know about this because people continue to say things like Bob Lazar was correct because he made all these predictions or he gave all this information that later turned out to be true, uh, like you know, he he told him about this uh, security device. Well, it's quite possible he actually saw this uh, device in use because it wasn't this like super secret thing. It was it was something that got used in school cafeterias in a couple of places because yeah. it didn't work very well, so it didn't last very long. But it was used in military installations as well. And we know that he did some work in various places like that. You know, he was he worked for a contractor and he went to these places. It's entirely possible that he saw it being used from the non-secure side, he might have even had to go through it at some point. Yeah. But the thing about uh, the presentation in uh, Jeremy Corbell's uh, film is that they make this huge deal about it, this huge drama like this, you know, everyone was describing a science fiction that, uh, you know, it couldn't possibly work. And then it was eventually verified that these things existed. But yeah, you know, the people had known that existed for, for many years before they were invented. Um, around 1970. I think there's, there's, there's newspaper articles about it from 1971, and there's the 1977 appearance in Close Encounters. And yeah, you know, there, there's lots of other articles about them. There's, there weren't something that was this, this secret technology that only he could possibly, that, you know, that verified he worked there.